Hey guys, welcome back to my second video. I wanted to let you know this video does have two parts. I recorded a section of when I was in Las Vegas and unfortunately I deleted one of the clips of the video. So you're gonna see a certain change from a clip from when I'm in Vegas and a video I recently just recorded to continue to what I really wanted to say. So sorry about that, it won't happen again. Enjoy the video. What if I do? Oh no! Hey YouTube. Um, oh man, it's dark. Anyway, I just left California. I arrived here in Nevada at my parents' house. Uh, since I work in California as a programmer, I never get to see my family here at home. And so I am in Nevada for Thanksgiving. And I'm going to go ahead and hang out with my family. And I got more things to tell you. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Hey, hey, I miss you too. Yuki, hey, hey, what's up? Yuki, Yuki, Yuki. Hey. Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving again. Um, uh, actually, what I wanted to talk about uh, today is how. I became a developer again in three months, but the question now today is, how can you become a developer, right? How can I become a web developer today in three months, and is it possible? Honestly, what I can say is that I got very lucky in my position. You know, I studied code consistently for three months, but I wanted to be as persistent as possible. That was my number one goal. So I went ahead and I made sure I studied two to three hours a day. So I went through HTML two times, and CSS two times. After I started learning, you know, I, I received a call from my boss. My boss gives me a six month review at my company and he tells me I'm not doing well, I'm not, I haven't been trying, that I don't seem interested in the job. And in my head, I'm like, that's true. Why? Because I don't own a laptop, to be honest. Look, you see this laptop right here? I literally bought that a couple weeks ago. I've, n I've never really owned a laptop. Uh, the laptop I used to learn at work. <laughs> so the whole time at work, what would I would do is just learn and study code. Literally, that's all I would do. And then my summer so boss, what he does, he tells me that, Chris, because you haven't been doing well, uh, we're gonna let you go. And at that point, I'm feeling like, oh man, what's gonna happen? I finally got a decent paying job, and because I wanted to learn code, I might get laid off. Well, this is the point of the video. This is why I started applying for web developer jobs. This is why I decided to go ahead, jump out there. Even if no one wants to hire me, I should at least try. So because I was about to get laid off, what happened is I applied for developer jobs. And I told myself I'll apply to two developer jobs every single day of that week. Two developer jobs, two office jobs every day. And after two weeks, so I get an interview with the company, with the CEO, he brings me in on a Saturday, I meet with him, he likes me, I show him the website I made, krishanlife.com, that's the website, of course I've updated it a little bit, so I show him my website, so I show him how passionate I am about code, and he likes me and he gives me the job. I've received a raise by this point already, and now I'm here today. Someone with no experience, someone who didn't even graduate from college, who dropped out of college, someone who really didn't care about life before. Now, a professional web developer. How can you become a programmer? Yes, you learn code, but what else? You get out there, you get your feet wet. Get as many developer interviews as you possibly can. Why? Even if you don't do well in those interviews, now you got experience in tech interviews. Now you know what questions uh, you'll receive next time. You know what to be prepared in. So what does it take to be a developer? What does it take to become a programmer? It takes just effort, right? courage, determination, and just doing it. Don't wait, go for it. The longer you wait, the more jobs will be filled that could have been yours. Yeah, you definitely can become a programmer. Just keep practicing, keep putting effort, uh, stay consistent, keep trying to get better than you were the day before. Uh, if you don't understand something, stick at that subject until you fully understand it. Uh, it will help a lot in the long run. And if you run into pr any problems, if I can help, I am not that good. But if I can help, go ahead and send me a message and I'll see what I can do to help you too. 
right? Um, I plan on doing even just uh, live videos, um, you know, meetings on Skype, Google Hangouts here on YouTube for anyone, uh, just so I can help people. You know, I'm not doing this for any money. I just want to help as much as I can uh, because I want everyone to know that this opportunity to become a programmer in this industry at this time in this generation is a perfect time to become a programmer. So you can do it. I know you can. You can do it, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. What do? So my arms are getting tired. <laughs> Hold on one second. What are you doing down here? I am making a video. Why are you messing me up, Yuki? Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. No, don't bother me. Don't bother me.